The fellowship is a place where people get to taste their best selves. It's a really amazing combination of justice work and then learning how that intersects with food. Some people come feeling like, I want to become a farmer. And other people come feeling like, that's something that I'd like to have under my belt. I was at a crossroads in my life. I was 28 and teaching in New Orleans. I actually graduated from college four days before I came out here. I went into the fellowship thinking that I was going in for just the farming. I found the Judaism that I didn't even know that I was looking for. I didn't expect for it to change the course of my life and pretty much all the decisions I made. The fellowship is a three-month residential immersion program uh, for young adults that integrates mindfulness, Jewish tradition, sustainable agriculture, and social justice training. In the fellowship, we have the opportunity to do a ton of farm work, and the fellows are responsible pretty much for running the farm. So today, we're going to harvest the green and purple beans, and we'll do kale and collards. They learn all the different aspects of organic farming and sustainability that they would need to know to be able to start a farm. So what you're going to do is look for beans that look mature. It's very hands-on and I feel like I'm learning a lot about how to propagate plants and how to harvest and how to grow food. It's exhausting, but every second feels like all of your neurons are firing and you're alive and you're present. The hard work is paid up in, in the feeling of joy that you get from it. We give about 90% of our produce to people in need in the community through our farm stand, which happens weekly. We give people experiences that allow them to exercise their muscle of compassion and kindness through the work that they do growing food for people who don't have access to healthy food and through their allyships with anti-poverty organizations that work in the community. We also give them a framework around social justice that allows them to see their lives differently. I think most people can think of a moment or a story in their own lives where they had like a critical moment of being like, wait, this isn't right. The reflection piece is a series of, of classes that I teach called the Liberation Series, where we play and ask questions and take risks and are vulnerable around our own experiences with privilege and oppression. The sense of community is astounding to me. It really leads to a sense of shared experience. We gather every morning together and do Avodat Lev, which is service of the heart. There are people here who have extensive Jewish backgrounds. There are people here who don't, and I think it does a very good job of leaving room open to hold all of those experiences and to mark all of those experiences as valid. Shema Nevei Ahavta, considered the central Jewish prayer. And still, multiple interpretations abound. So loving life as opposed to you will love God with all your heart. This experience has made relevant and has made alive a lot of the Judaism that I didn't find accessible before coming here. My fellowship experience was pretty transformative. One of the first days, I realized that I was home. <laughs> it's a time for them to be able to take a step back and really explore from many different angles, who am I and who do I want to be in the world? It's really unique to have three months to open, to wrestle with things that are important to you. Being here has changed my thinking in so many ways. It's changed what I want to do with my life, which has become a lot more clear and a lot more directed. I can see like where I might want to go deeper in the rest of my life, and it's really the beginning for me. I can't imagine going on to do the work that I want to do in the world without the fellowship, and I feel genuinely prepared and excited for my future.